Hello guys, my name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine and you want to follow the updates from my country during these challenging times, please subscribe. I am not a politician, not a military expert, but I like to call myself a professional Ukrainian because I know a lot about our history, culture, language and I love my country. I stay in my country during war and I will stay here after we win. So today I want to talk a little bit about the success of Ukrainian counter-offensive, especially in the South, but once again not from this military expertise perspective, but from the uh, side of an ordinary Ukrainian, how we actually observe things that are important for our future victory. Well, I know many of you, and even me sometimes, hoped that this counter-offensive will be very dynamic. But it cannot resemble a Hollywood movie, because behind every even successful operation, there are hundreds of human lives. And Ukrainians care about the lives of their soldiers and the infrastructure of the country we live in and we will live in. This actually demonstrates huge civilizational difference between us and Russia because they don't care about lives not just of Ukrainians, whom they actually came to kill, but even their own soldiers and the infrastructure they want to invade. Which is another proof, this is not a war for resources, I don't know, any political reason. This is an existential, civilizational fight and Russia wanted to totally destroy Ukraine as a culture, as a country, and we stopped them. If you're not yet subscribed and you support Ukraine, please join the channel and become one of our allies. We need you. So in the south of Ukraine, uh, we have managed to destroy their first defense line, which is not like just a line of trenches or a couple of soldiers standing. If Russian orcs managed to do something professional here, so these are these three levels or sometimes even four levels of defense lines that consist of constructions, concrete constructions, some of which have even three floors beneath the ground and huge mined territories. This is a tragedy that we will have to deal with for decades, but at the moment these mined territories, they prevent normal movement of Ukrainian armed forces in counteroffense. But despite all of that, we have managed to uh, break this defense line and moving in the direction of Melitopol in Berdyansk, which is not that close, like up to 80 kilometers of mine territories more. But Russians see that they are losing Ukrainian south, and our purpose is actually to ruin the corridor that now exists between the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine and Crimea, which Russians used to supply their troops with weapons, with food, and even with people. And of course, by breaking this corridor, we will uh, leave them without the things they need and soon orcs will have to organize this gesture of goodwill the way they called uh, their escape from Kherson. They can name it whatever they wanted, but the fact will remain. They will um, evaporate from the territory of Ukraine. So that is the program minimum for this time and also we have to remember that ukrainians still lack weapons and no nato country would start a counter-offensive without an aviation or long-range missiles we don't have long-range missiles we are not even promised them and f-16 we're still waiting but even in such conditions we have started the counter-offensive and we demonstrate success we don't have a choice. This is our country, this is our life, and this is an existential fight. <clears throat> Once again, uh, it's a huge territory. We forget about that because Ukraine is a big country. And when you look at the map of Ukraine, it seems like that this occupied territory is not that big. But actually, it is twice the size of Croatia or one Portugal. Can you imagine one Portugal-like in size country at war? This is what Ukraine and Ukrainian armed forces are dealing with right now. <clears throat> Understanding that they are losing almost all of the Russian orcs from Luhansk region moved to the south to try and back up uh, theirs. 
Uh, also, the uh, analysis of British intelligence services demonstrate that the level of psychological and physiological health uh, of uh, Russian soldiers is really bad. They never care about their people and many of them actually give up to Ukrainians. What were they thinking? Why have they decided to come and invade a country? And now they have to pay for that. That is totally and totally just. If you agree that no negotiations are possible with Russia and only victory is peace, please subscribe because we think alike. And uh, now Russians are trying to save the situation in the south and moved all the majority of their troops from other directions to back up um, in the south. And they are trying to open, if it's possible to say, their new 25th Reserve Army, which demonstrates our two facts. Fact number one, Russians have millions of people they are ready to sacrifice in this war and we will never outnumber them. We have to be um, ready, we have to understand that in numbers of people that we are ready to kill, uh, we will never reach this ugly, awful level of Russians' uh, consciousness. So they have millions, they are ready to sacrifice and they can mobilize them for the next century, perhaps. Uh, in Ukraine and in all the civilized world, every life matters, you know, that's what we actually stand for. But this 25th army is not going to be something terrifying for Ukraine because these are newly mobilized alcoholics, prisoners, unlucky people who had a really short period of training and I don't think they will be game changers. Perhaps they will die out in a couple of first weeks or join this battalions of miserable orcs, uh, but uh, we will observe what happens next. Apart from Ukrainians killing professional Russian military and of course they lost many, many, many of them during uh, this year and a half of war, Putin is also good. He kills many of his professional military just like he did with Prihozhin. There are lots of other who disappeared after the purge he started uh, after the coup so like we are <laughs> working on both sides ukrainians kill professional russian military in ukraine and uh, putin kills them in russia because he is afraid subscribe if you agree that putin is a coward and a bully and a terrorist because he is all of that and maybe there are many putins so like each is responsible for another flaw or another sin <clears throat> but uh the most important conclusion that i want to make once again as an ordinary ukrainian the world has to see russia does not have enough strength power weapons knowledge i don't know talent to get new ukrainian territories they have lost this goal. They realize they will not be able to occupy new lands. So what they are doing now, they try to keep this occupied territories and to make them Russia. And with your support, with F-16 long-range missiles, Ukrainian bravery and resilience, we will be able to sweep them out of these territories and end this war with victory. It is only possible when Crimea returns back to Ukraine because apart from all illegal things and negative precedents, this is a base for the supply of Russian military operations. And as long as Crimea is a part of Russia, the huge part of Europe is in danger. <clears throat> so of course, it is not the moment to push Ukraine into negotiations. It is the moment to supply us with more and more missiles and please long range missiles and of course F-16. And together we will win this war and then we will have a serious problem and much of brainstorming. What do we do with 140 million brainwashed Russians. If you have any ideas, please leave them in comments. Thank you so much for your support, for buying me coffees. Maybe I will drink some hot wine today because finally it's really cold and raining. Really cold, it's 20, I'm sorry. Uh, but after 36 Celsius, 20 seems cold and I have a cold, so please forgive if I spend some of your coffees on hot wine. 
Uh, thank you for becoming patrons. Subscribe to my Instagram, Twitter, threads. Join my Discord community. Introduce yourself to our merch store. But most importantly, join the beautiful community of my channel. We are all smart and good and fighting for the good. Slava Ukraini!